Switzerland's gonna be so awesome. Skiing, snowboarding, snow hunks, shopping, shopping, shopping. Then relaxing in my luxury chalet at the Cote Blanche Resort. Mm. I'm just so glad that we don't have to stay at that crummy youth hostel with Tony and everyone else. <gasps> Shh, here comes Tamara. I know she's your friend, but Daddy said I could only bring one guest, so I'm sorry. But Ashley, we have... No, buts about it. I share a room with her every night. I need a couple days away from that space invader. Oh my gosh, are you guys excited about our winter break? I'm so excited for crisp mountain air, fresh powder, first stages of frostbite. I can't wait to kick Max's butt snowboarding. Yeah, you guys will have to tell me all about it when you get back. What, you're not going? Well, I can't, I'm, I'm broke. I can't even afford the uh, youth hostel. Ashley, say something. <laughs> Tamara, I'm gonna do something special for you. I'll bring you back a snow globe. All right. Tamira, I happen to have a chalet at my disposal, so you can stay with us if you promise not to be such a spaz. Really? <gasps> but that's it, okay? I don't want my chalet turning into Party Central. For sure, I won't tell a soul. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, we're all going to Ashley's chalet in Switzerland. You want to come with? Sure. Okay, fine. Denise can come, too, but that's it. Yes. Please. <gasps> Switzerland, here we come. Woo! Girl. Your legs must be tired, because you've been walking through my mind all night. Oh. Huh? Um, Sean, I don't think I'm quite comfortable with this kind of role-playing, man. I gotta hear these out loud so I know which ones to use in the Swiss Misses, all right? All right, but just don't get fresh with all me, right. okay, mister? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Is there an airport nearby, or is that just my heart taking off? Oh, why you? <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, listen, it's not what you think, okay? Guys? Yeah, man, Sean's not even my type, man. You know, underneath the ski suit, I have the body of a Calvin Klein model. <laughs> Kate Moss. <laughs> Whatever. She gives me money. Guys, picking up women isn't something you learn from a book, okay? It's, it's like a gift. It's something you're born with. Oh, yeah, I do kind of like how I can I can tell the expiration date on cheese by smelling it. Because <laughs> that's like... Okay, you see her over there? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Watch. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you'd uh, let me help you with those bags, you'd have a spare hand to write down your phone number. <laughs> I could use some help. It's a gift. <laughs> Alex? Alex, honey, I could use a hand with these bags. Oh. Alex? Where's Alex? <laughs> what is he doing with that fake Gucci wearing woman? I think you know. <laughs> Honey, we better get going. We have a lot to do today. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let this one go. I'm sure it was nothing. Oh, okay, no. Who was that woman? Where did she come from? And why were you talking to her? Well, her name's Dominique. She's French. She used to be a model, but now she's studying at La Sorbonne. How fascinating. Let's go. Ow, ow. <laughs> hey there. Hey, you know, if you let me carry your bag, you'd have a free hand to write your phone number down with. Huh? Not interested. No, oh, really, please, we insist. It's okay, yeah. I, I can take I that. I need your help, okay? Bigger than you feel. Let me just... Oh, God! Oh. 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 Ow, that's gonna need some ice, too.
Man, you really carved it up today. Thanks, you too, Max. <laughs> I got something for you, Max. Yeah. Look, my grandma made it for me, and I want you to have it. <laughs> so what do you think? Well, I think someone does a circus clown wondering where your scarf is, you know? Yeah. No offense, I mean, it's just... It's not my style. No, it's okay. It's just a scarf. It's okay. I don't blame him for not wearing it. You don't? Like you, I wouldn't want to draw any attention to myself. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Dirk Von Clapp! You are one of the best snowboarders in the world! Yeah, I am. And if you're lucky, I'll teach you how to snowboard, too. Sure. Max, you want to come with us? No. Okay, let's go. Where's your parachute? Because someone as beautiful as you must have fallen down from heaven. <laughs> That's cute. Hi, I'm Ellen, and this is my friend Paula. Hi, and you are? Um, John and Jimmy. Jim, no, no. <laughs> John and Jimmy. That's Jimmy. Hi. <laughs> I see. You know, we're not doing anything tonight. Maybe we could find a party and hang. Well, you're not going to believe this, but we're having a party tonight. We are. <laughs> <laughs> We are. Cool. Where is it? <laughs> Hostel number six. What? You said youth hostel number six. Um, it's about a half hour train ride from here, but bring your own toilet paper because we don't have any. I, I um, think we'll pass. <laughs> hey, Max, guess what? Dirk's going to take me on Le Passage du Diable tomorrow. That means Devil's Pass. It's the gnarliest run on the mountain. I would invite you to come along, but I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Let's go, Cassie. See you around, Max. Yeah, see you around, Jerk. Oh, Dirk, I'm sorry. I can't believe him. Right in front of my face with that Dominique. I never want to see Alex again. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, Ashley. Let, let me let me explain, Ashley. Ashley. Would you just listen to me? No, I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Just give me a chance. Come on. Yeah. Ashley. Look. Nothing, nothing happened, okay? We were just talking. Next to you, Dominique, is nothing. Really? Really. And I'd rather be with you any day, or night, or uh, morning. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. I'll make us some hot chocolate, and you go heat up the jacuzzi. Well, that's a plan. Well, see, Tony, he let us stay in town for the late train, right? But the tracks back to the youth hostel are frozen, so, um, we don't have a place to stay. And that would affect me how? Ashley, they're your friends. Huh? Huh? <sighs> Fine, but don't touch anything. Awesome! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> place is warm, baby! <gasps> Jimmy, Jimmy! Uh, I'm doing good. Hi, What's up, man? Where'd all these people come from? Same place you're going. Outside. Uh-huh. I found that French bluesy's phone number in your pocket. You lying creep. Uh -huh. Hey. You know, I don't have to go with Dirk tomorrow. I can hang with you. What are you? Why do you always do that? Do what? Every time that I feel like I'm getting somewhere with you, you pull back. 
What are you afraid of? Not afraid of anything. Well, then what is it? Well, did you ever think it's not me that has a problem? What? Maybe I just don't feel like being Cassidy's flavor of the week. Ashley, hey, listen, I was thinking maybe tomorrow night we could throw a little soiree, you know, an intimate little party, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Jimmy, a burning marshmallow on a stick does not make you a major right. Now quit twirling and put that down. My wife. <sighs> Take that as a yes. Come one, come all, to the best party ever thrown. Call me right there, please. Bring a friend. Bring cool. all your friends, please. Does it look like you bring two? Thank oh. you. Oh, here. Okay, you want that? Take it, please. That's good. Cool. Baby. Hello, people. Oh. Hey. Oh, oh my. Watch oh. it. Oh. 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 Alex. Alex, man, did you sleep here all night, dude? Huh? Yeah. Did you find any spare change in the couch? J Jimmy. Dude, you know, you look a little down, like you could use some cheering up. Party tonight, ask the chalet, be there. Oh. Trust me, guys, I think I'm the last person that wants to see at that party. Oh, no way, dude, you're wrong, man. You think? Yeah, man, everybody knows I'm the last person that <laughs> wants to see there, man. <laughs> Do you know where the passage to Diablo is? Uh, that run has been closed, uh, extreme ice. Somebody I know is up there. Oh, don't spread it, man. There are signs everywhere. Only a fool would ignore them. Yeah, jerk. Suit yourself. Dirk? Dirk! vacation from working at the coffee house. Anyway, so here's your cafe au lait, and I have a baguette to go with that, and here's your cappuccino, which with I have a croissant. You didn't have to see Alex in the snack bar, did you? No. Oh. I mean, good. Ashley, don't you think you've been a little hard on Alex? Yeah, especially considering you already have a boyfriend back home, Tyler. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely right, Tamira. It has become obvious to me that Alex will always be a flirt, and I really can't trust him at all. So now my choice is clear. Tyler's the one for me. But don't you think you should hear Alex's side of the story? I mean, you owe him that much. Mm. Maybe you're right, Denise. Come on, Cassidy. Come on. Ah. Uh. 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 Cassidy! Hard 
pretty. Hey there. Hey, yes. come. Okay, please come. Here we go. Here we go. All right, baby. Yeah, now we got every inch of this resort covered in invitations, huh? Shh. Oh. oh, have you seen Alex? Hi. Um, no. Sorry, George. Peach can't help you. Huh. Well, if you see him, can you tell him I'm looking for him? Oh. Is it me or is it Adam here? Dude, it's Dominique. Why don't you take off your shirt? Would you two grow up? I'm sure what that woman does in the privacy of her own room. Sure, I'm getting kind of hot, too. Now, it's where we're going to go. Go, Alex. Okay, Cassidy, you've almost got it. Now keep pulling yourself up. I'm trying. C come on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. Jerk. Oh. Okay. Never use line number thirty-eight. Okay. Exactly. Why are you not dancing? My name's Sean Hanlon. That's right. You may not know, but I'm your future ex-husband. Cocktails. No, no, that's not what happened. But Cassidy, I swear I went back, but I couldn't find you. I was stuck up there for a half an hour by myself, and if Max hadn't come by, anything could have happened. If that Weasel rescued you, you couldn't have been in much danger. Excuse me. Can I borrow that? Sure. Au revoir, jerk! <laughs> Line number 38, huh? <laughs> Bad cult. Hey, girls only. Watching. Hands off, girls only. Max? Thank you for saving me out there today. No big deal. I'm just glad I was wearing your scarf. Man, you saved my life and you act like it was nothing. Hey, you wore my scarf. <laughs> you didn't like it and you still wore it. Well, it was cold outside and it was all I could find. And it was from you. Hey, what do you think you're doing? What did it look like? <laughs> this is never going to work, you know. You want to give it a shot? Totally willing. Oh. Yes. Ashley, I know I'm not supposed to spaz out around you this weekend, but you're gonna have to forgive me for this one because she's here. The last person you just wanted to see, she just showed up. May I help you? Are you Ashley? Yes, I am. Would you please give this to Alex? Why don't you take your money and get out of here? But I promised I would pay him to move boxes, and I intend to keep my promise. You know, you should be ashamed of yourself. He's just a boy. Sure, he acts like he's Casanova, but inside he's... Move boxes? Y'all were just moving boxes. Yes. What did you think we were doing? Oh, I thought it was something bigger, like a couch or a dresser. Ashley, I want you to know that the whole time Alex was with me, he was talking only of you. He was? He cares very much for you. I thought you were mad at me. I thought I was too. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me all Dominique wanted you to do was move some stupid box? Well, it's pretty hard with a door in your face. Alex, I've seen you flirt before, but this time I thought you really meant it. And even though we're not really together, I, f I still felt like I was losing. Well, now you know how I feel about you and Tyler. Is that for? To say I'm sorry. Great, a, a pity kiss. That one had nothing to do with it.